Hello guys, welcome to another one of my video. Today I'm going to show you guys a car jump starter by Suyoki and the model is U10. I bought it from Amazon for £80. And let me also show you inside the box. Now the reason why I buy this model is because this one has a 20,000 ampere hour battery and it should be able to start any big engine so i drive a bmw x5 and it's a 4.4 liter i do have another battery powered jump starter but if the battery do run very low it just wouldn't start so i need a bigger battery pack So it comes with this uh, lead to connect to your battery and um, it does come with a generous length so even the bigger car battery you have no problem. So it comes with a battery socket charger, a USB to micro USB lead and a main socket charger now you also come with this kind of a pin now if you look at it it looks like a sim card changing pin but i'll get back to you later on in the video now i accidentally press the light switch that's why the led is on and it's super bright it has flashing mode, faster flashing. And off. It feels really solid and heavy and it has even a compass on top. Now on the side you got the bright LED display. And it shows you the battery level. Under the flap, you got the input to charge it and two USB output. You can use this as a power bank. And with 20,000 milliamp per hour, it should be able to last many, many charges. Now double clicking the power button will switch on the red color LED. Now on the other side of the cover, you have the connection for the booster cable. Now this booster cable is not just a cable to connect to the battery but there are some electronics inside to help uh, boosting your car starter when you plug in if it doesn't detect any battery you will see the green and red led flashing and i'll show you later on in the video what it looks like when it's connected to a battery the instruction booklet is a tad small in writing but it's clear now on the left is my old car jump starter and I had that for about two years already. So you can see that over the last two years the battery pack has uh, basically everything like a boosted kind of uh, technology now. Instead of one LED you have three LED light and instead of uh, 10,000 ampere hour battery this one have double the capacity hence it should be able to start a uh, big engine i have to say the small one have no problem starting my honda jazz which is 
but my X5 sometimes it just wouldn't cut it. I don't have to use it very often, but because I don't drive my car every week, and um, and I don't want to unplug the battery every time, so sometimes I it does need a bit of help to start. So a bit of side by side in the hand, it does make the other jump starter feel like a toy. So here we are, I've got a battery set up just to show you guys what happened when you plug it in. Okay, once it detects the battery, you can hear the click and that is ready to boost your jump start. And the LED turned to green. There is no button. As soon as you see the green LED, it is ready for you to turn your engine. And if you connect it any other way, it will not uh, turn into the boost mode. As soon as you unplug, it will not detect a voltage, therefore it goes back to this standby mode. Now earlier in the clip, you can see there's a pin, the SIM card changing that kind of a pin. It goes into this hole and when they press the reset button, you force it to not detect any battery voltage and you can jump start the car when the battery is completely flat. To charge up the battery pack, you have this uh, cigarette socket adapter and it also comes with, with a wall socket charger. A little tip for you guys is that um, have the battery pack in your car and just charge it with your cigarette socket charger every so often. Now the battery pack nowadays use lithium iron and they do hold the charge for a long time so you just need to top up every so often. 